What's up guys, Quasi here, bringing you guys another tutorial. This time I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this 2D abstract banner in uh, Photoshop. I'm going to be in Photoshop C, uh, CC. And basically this is a simple banner, uh, or it looks simple. Uh, there's a little bit more to it, just kind of playing around with things, getting it right. But yeah, so I'm going to show you how to do this, and let's get started. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete all of this crap, first of all. And you can do this effect with anything. Um, like, it doesn't have to be a YouTube banner. Let me just make this black. So this is like the default Photoshop banner template that I use, at least. And basically, just kind of in a group. I put everything in a group. If you want a group, just Control g on your bottom layer. Puts everything in a group. So let's go to that uh, bottom layer and let's go select a color and um, I'm gonna go select a dark blue. So like something like this, maybe a little brighter, maybe a little darker. Okay, so select a dark blue, fill in your color, boom. Um, uh, it can be any color, but just if you want to follow along with my color scheme for now, you can change yours at the end. Um, but yeah, maybe uh, I should go a little darker. This is a little too bright. So I'm just going to control U. And this is like a fast way to adjust color. So I'm going to go to the lightness and just bump it down a little bit. So negative 8. And then uh, on my color palette, I'm going to double click on it and then use the eyedropper to select that background. So it will adjust that color. So we have that saved down there. Now let's create a new layer and let's go flop your colors down here and let's select a green and make sure it's not too bright so like down a little bit like there and on this new layer we want to just um, go to your pen tool bring out your guides uh, have one in the center if you don't have a guide go to control R on your keyboard go to the side drag it on it'll click to the center automatically just kind of go slowly over it um, and yeah you'll be good so we want to create half of this document so you want to click at the very top go almost all the way down to the banner uh, but not quite and then hold shift and click on an angle it'll create a perfect 45 degree angle there and then just click all around um, and let's right click and wow my fill path is not coming up right click alright so you want to go to right click fill path and fill it in with this green but mine's just being stupid occasionally does this I don't know why so I'm just gonna right click uh, and make selection go to my paint bucket tool and fill it in with that green it'll work the same way um, and then I'm gonna control H to just hide what I have or hide the guides my, my mistake and now the, you can do this in any order really um, but I prefer to get my text up first so I'm gonna go to the text tool I'm gonna click and I'm just gonna do Noah and I'm gonna oops, no did I seriously delete that and I'm gonna make it white and uh, it's on 200 point font and the font is called Kremlin regular you can use any boxy font or any font you want in general, honestly. Um, it kind of just has to be flat at the top or the sides because you can either do the text coming down vertically like this or do what I'm going to do and that's just tilt it negative 90 degrees on its side. And then I'm just going to line it up kind of there and hold shift and drag it down. Click enter when you get a decent size and just line it up like that. Let me zoom in. So control plus to zoom in. There we go. You want to create a little bit of space of that darker color, the dark blue, right there. So it just it get, it it just looks nice. You don't want it up against the edge. It looks stupid. So something like that. And control zero to zoom out and get your full document in the picture. And now you want to add a logo if you're using a logo. If not, then just skip the step. But I'm just gonna add a logo and sort of make it big like that right click rasterize and I'm gonna double click on it color I'm gonna color it this green <clears throat> okay and I'm gonna right click rasterize that and I'm just gonna add a bit of a gradient on this so go to your gradient overlay 
uh, we're gonna make that uh, overlay instead of normal and bring it down to like 20 opacity so 21 that works um, you kind of can't tell the difference all that much but there's a subtle different or a subtle effect there which looks nice and I'm just gonna bring that logo over using the arrow key uh, the air yeah the left arrow key on my keyboard and just kind of align it there if you want you can select everything we have now and bring it over and center it like that so something like that but personally I like it over to the right but I guess I mean you can do whatever I'll just align it center because I'm assuming that's probably what a lot more people are gonna do um, so yeah let's do that and I'm gonna duplicate that uh, logo and I'm gonna drag it down just above that navy blue layer control T and I'm gonna make it bigger holding shift and then tilt it and then put it on three opacity so we got a little bit of an effect underneath uh, which is nice. Sorry if you just heard that text message. Um, now let's go to the very top layer. So that, in my case, it's the logo layer. If you don't have a logo, it'll be your text layer. And let's create a new layer. Go to the square uh, rectangle rectangle tool. And we're going to create a nice rectangle here about an inch and a half wide. Um, and the height doesn't really matter. Um, color, we're going to select this navy blue boom and then we're gonna right click and rasterize that rectangle and uh, just go to your move tool and control T on the keyboard with that layer selected tilt it hold shift and if you're in uh, recent version of Photoshop it should say the degree you're turning it and you want it to be negative 45 and then hit enter and I'm just gonna move this over a little bit and I'm gonna uh, I'll do this first I'm gonna go to my rectangle marquee tool and I'm just gonna select the top portion of this hold shift select the bottom portion of this I'm not gonna go completely to like the like banner cutoff right there I'm gonna li leave a little bit of space and I'm gonna hit delete so if you look at this it's flat on the tops which will help us later um, so actually right now so if I hit control J to duplicate that rectangle um, if I go to the bottom one the bottom layer and go control U I can go and make this white so put the lightness all the way up and I'm gonna use my arrow keys go over a tad bit and then I'm just gonna drag up and kind of get this look right there so it's like coming down stops right there which is which uh, is a look I like um, and I'm gonna go to the very top rectangle now and I'm gonna control J and again using the arrow keys I'm gonna bump it over and align it with that white rectangle we just made and uh, I'm gonna click uh, control on my keyboard and click the thumbnail of the original blue rectangle so it's the one below the one we have selected click that and then hit delete on that top layer and then control del uh, control D um, and now you have a thin uh, stripe. So now we can just go ahead and duplicate these, change the colors, align them however we want. Um, so I'm just gonna keep that blue one there for now. Control J, Control U, make it white. And let's do like this. Boom. Let's get this, get this blue one. We'll put it pretty close. Let's actually drag it down like there that's pretty cool uh, duplicate it uh, what if we do that and then what if we make that one white that looks pretty good let's duplicate it we'll have this one go all actually yeah, it's boom that's pretty cool pretty cool I like that uh, let's go down to the bottom where we have that white one control J and I'm gonna drag that to the top and bring it over and bring it down like this and I'm gonna duplicate that thick blue one drag it to the top as well and put it like there and where are these three thin ones that I have those three I'm gonna select those three control J oh where are they again 
these three, I believe. Control, select those, holding shift, control J, drag them to the top, and I'm gonna bring them over here and just kind of get a cool look. Um, what if I do this? Hmm. Computer's being a little slow. Okay, that looks pretty cool. So I'm just gonna say that is my pattern. Um, you will probably wanna spend a little more time on this and you don't have to copy what I have right here. Um, you can do whatever you want, uh, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm just gonna extend this one down. There we go. And you can even have a little space over here because what we're gonna do is select all of these rectangles we just made, right click, merge layers, control J, and you can just click and drag them over if you need to extend. So in my case, I do. So boom, simple way. And then uh, what we're going to do is just right click that top one, merge down. So now they're all here. Um, boom. And I'm going to rename this to Stripes. And <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, let's go ahead and just control J, duplicate it. And let's drag it over now to the other side. And let's see, where do we want this? Like right there? Mm. We need some space for some social media links. So if I go about there, that'll do. Um, and let's see, how can we go about changing the color? What we're going to do is on this duplicated stripe layer, we're going to select all the white stripes. Um, and by the way, I, I just completely skip this. Uh, you want to select the magic wand tool to do this, just so it's quick, simple. It should work pretty good. And we're just gonna Control C, Control V that, and then we want to go to the bottom stripes layer, so that original one, and we're gonna double click on it, color overlay, select a color, select the green, okay, okay, and boom. And then we're just going to right click rasterize that and then and then uh, let's right click that top layer merge down so the white and green are now together boom there we go quick and simple uh, there's a lot of ways you could probably change that color but that's just the way I did it doesn't matter how you do it um, and now we're almost to completion um, there's just a few more steps we want to do um, so Let's go to the bottom again, and I'm gonna go to where my green layer, my green, yeah, my green background layer is. Create a new layer above that, and I'm gonna go to the paintbrush tool, and I'm gonna go make my colors white and black, so just click right there, so it goes to the default colors, and I'm gonna make it white. And you can, let me zoom out a little bit. Uh, you can just use the default uh, brush here, like the soft brush or you can use some patterns or anything you'd like but uh, because some of the brushes I, I have you most likely won't have I'm just gonna use the default brush so I'm just gonna click right right there right there and click overlay oh, click overlay and then right click on that layer and create a clip masking so it's just on that green and then I'm gonna go to the very bottom blue layer create a new layer and do the same sort of thing so I'm just gonna Boom, boom, overlay, looks all right, that, that'll, that'll do. And let's go control zero. And at this point, you can add your social media links. So basically all I do for that is, let me go to my Quezzy 12K pack. If you, if you don't have this pack or don't have social media links, just go to my 12K pack, um, it's on my channel. It's probably, it's a fairly recent video. Um, but we're gonna go to the social logos and I'm just gonna drag Twitter on there um, And you do this for each one uh, see it's already a pretty good size for this for banners because that's what it's for We're gonna right click um, Actually, let's just right click on it and clear layer styles and then double click on it and then go to color overlay And we're gonna select the green Boom and I'm just gonna move this away from my logo a little bit and put it down and go to the text tool click right next to the Twitter icon put it on the left hand uh, mark or whatever that's called left 
make sure it's on the left 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 align text that's what it is let's make the font about 12 size uh, 12 in size and we'll just do like at Kwezi um, and I'm gonna just pick my favorite font right now which is a underscore futura orto bold I don't even know if that's how you say it but I said it all fancy and I'm just gonna increase the size of it because I can and boom <clears throat> there we go social media links and then you can just do that throughout like something like that and you could even make the icon a little smaller it is kind of big but what if I just do this that's that's kind of the size I'd go for like that um, so that is the most that's mainly a lot of it done right there okay but now we have it in a group we want to close that group and then control J duplicate the whole group right click merge group now we got everything here it's just like boom and now we're gonna let me show okay I am zoomed out now we're gonna add the cool effect uh, which is the texture portion of this so control J to duplicate it and let's go to filter and where is this at? Is this in no this isn't pixelate isn't it yeah we well, want to go to pixelate mesotint and there's a few options you have here um, I suggest not using any of the dots but you can use any of these lines or strokes uh, like long lines or long strokes work uh, let me I think I use the long strokes if I'm not mistaken that looks about right um, and then let's go color dodge yeah that's what it that's what it was so you want to do that color dodge and just bring down the opacity and it just gives it a little bit of texture which looks nice um, uh, we could have probably used a little bit of depth over here a little more if I added more textures or added shadows on these stripes which is something you can do if you want um, but I'm gonna right click and merge that down um, and wow that didn't work let's bring down the opacity a little more right click merge down a little too much texture still let's go to five percent that should work merge down there we go so once you when you merge down a color dodge uh, it brightens up a significant amount so you want to bring it down lower to what then what you would normally do and then once you merge down it'll brighten up so like that so there we go we got some texture now if this is too bright or too dull for you you can control U, change the saturation increase it I think mine's about perfect maybe I like bright things, so I'm going to brighten up just a tad. Um, but now you can change the hue if you want to two different colors. Um, or you can go and make a new layer, uh, paint bucket tool, pick a color. So if you want like two different reds, you can fill in the layer with a red, go to hue on the layer style, and just make it red. This is kind of a pink, but you know, you can change the color that way or whatever. That, this is like the colorway of my obey banner that I did but yeah so I'm not gonna really do that um, and then the final two steps you want to do or these are kind of optional uh, I'm gonna zoom out create a new layer pen tool and just create a I'm gonna click in the bottom left and the top right click uh, make a little bit of a curve and go around like this right click and again I don't have fill path but let's make selection okay and you're basically just filling this with white and then I'm gonna zoom in again so control zero to get the full screen and just gonna decrease the opacity of it so it's basically just a simple little glare uh, which kinda adds a bit of an effect let's right click merge down Control J to duplicate, and the final step, fi or filter, sharpen, sharpen more. That'll just give it better quality. Um, I'm just going to decrease it a little bit so there's nothing weird going on. Right click, merge down. There's our final banner. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, if you did, please leave a like. If this gets 100 likes, I will leave the cow banner in the description. Um, so, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry if this was a little bit of a long tutorial, but uh, it's... A lot of stuff going on over here with these stripes. Uh, but yeah, see you guys later, and I hope you enjoyed. Peace.